give me a statement whenever you're ready. Ah, uh, just what a phenomenal win, not only for Hofstra University first, but for the CAA, uh, last man standing, uh, to have just such a collective wins with this group, and just such a, just a proud moment to be coaching these, these, these women here. 19 assists, playing like a team, and just extremely proud. First time in the quarterfinals since 2007, just talk about you know, how, how that feels to kind of rarefied air in the in program history. Yeah, just, I, I told them that after the game, I mean, uh, you know, just want them to keep enjoying every minute. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Keep playing, relax, because that's what we're doing. We're not thinking about it. We're just playing hard with a lot of everything on my practice plan every day has been whether it's the first round, second round, third round. Now we go and just energy and, and energy and effort, and then that's what they just been bringing. So that's them. I mean, I can you can say whatever you want as these guys believing in it and and, uh, and moving forward. Coach, in that fourth quarter, your defense was your offense essentially. Just talk about being able to force numerous turnovers time and time again in that last quarter. Yeah, well, and then we made a switch and put her in the middle because obviously they're pretty smart and they were trying to go down and post the big girl in Aliana. And so we just switched Kelly and, uh, and uh, Angie out and uh, that made all the difference. Angie made just uh, just great reads and, and was a bigger body down there for uh, the big girl, uh, Lauren Moses, to have to try to score on. Um, and, you know, we got our, finally got ourselves a couple little rebounds, but it, it was tough. They, they, they attack the boards. I mean, they play you know, that type of style, you know, the type of style of basketball they play, you know, so they were aggressively attacking the boards, but we just made some adjustment, but these guys did it. They covered the passing lanes, they made it hard for them to see people being open, and we generated offense from, you know, getting some steals off of that. Oh, yeah, uh, 22 to zero and fast break points, you were a big part of that. Just talk about that transition offense. Well, you know, I'm that kind of player that's run the, the court no matter what. <laughs> like, we're out, <laughs> so mm -hmm. I always do that, and more than proud of my team. Like, I scored 15 points, but that was that was them. So, no selfish. <laughs> Coach, 15, another another career high for Aliana, along with a handful of steals, a big three. Just talk about the way she's performing in the postseason. I said like a rock star. I was telling her that the whole time. Every time she came up to my bench, I'm like, you're just playing like a rock star. And, uh, just, again, you know, I'm going to say that same thing I've been saying. If you go back to every press conference, just glad to have her now. I'm seizing the moment because this is the young lady that, you know, that she can all, well, we all knew that she could be this. You know, a couple setbacks, and then now look what she's having the opportunity to really kind of spread her wings and, and play like she's capable of playing and at the right time and we're all benefiting. So just proud to be around her. Again, caring, unselfish, and uh, just a great teammate. And Aliana, for you, you weren't starting at the beginning of the year, but especially later in the season, you've become that starter for this team. Where's your comfort level now being in that starting five? You know, um, before like the games, my co coach is always like talking to me, like, are, are we ready? Like give me that kind of support that I need to like be ready for the game and the other four starters that are always like let's go Aliana we got this so confident. <laughs> and you have another double double today. Mm -hmm. Talk about where your confidence is at because it seems like the team is just trying to feed you the ball every chance they have. So yeah, oh. <laughs> I said so is the coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's just Experiment. I guess timing. I mean, I some you know I really get down on myself and you know really, I guess, I wouldn't say punish myself, but I'm just really, like, I guess, aggressive when it comes to, like, scoring, because that's something I know I have to do. So I think <clears throat> during the postseason, I really have to learn, like, when's my time to score, and, you know, when is it to just help my teammates, and that's what I did. And once I helped my teammates, the scoring just came itself. So, yeah. As far as rebounds go, Angie, I'm sure it's a lot different playing down there without Ashine, but Aliana contributes five, Jaquel contributes five rebounds as well. Just talk about how the guards are stepping up, helping you down low. Yeah, definitely. I feel like the guards have always stepped up, but, you know, it's definitely a forward or a center's duty to grab rebounds. I mean, the guards are awesome, you know, they lead the team and do other things, so for them to grab rebounds, too, is awesome. And Angie, for you, the UVA roster has, I believe, eight players listed over six foot. Mm -hmm. and was this the most difficult game for you to be able to establish yourself inside? No. <laughs> um, I just feel like I just wasn't comfortable yet, and I feel like that's why I wasn't scoring in the beginning. You know, like I said, I was getting down on myself. Um, but no, I wasn't really worried. Um, they're human. They make mistakes too. <laughs> that's what Coach K always says. They're human. They make mistakes too, and you know, they're just people. I wasn't really afraid. No. Coach, this could be for you or Angie. Uh, the first half for you today and the first half against Villanova, a little bit rough for you getting in the, in the scoring rhythm, but then second half, I'm not sure what it is about the, the locker room that really gets you amped up. What what goes on to get you going in the second half? Confidence from my teammates, uh, especially Darius. You know, I, Like I said, I get down on myself, and I'm sitting there like, man, I'm 
not doing nothing. And, you know, my teammates are definitely just the ones that are like, keep <coughs> shooting, they're going to fall in. You know, they definitely give me the confidence that I need. It's never coming for myself. It's always my teammates that are always pushing me. And definitely Coach K and the rest of the coaches, and they help me alter what I need to to be open to score. So. That's the point I think sometimes. No, no, you're sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. You, what you just said, I think sometimes we're trying to figure out how they're playing her. Yep. How they're playing her, and then so she's getting sagged and doubled in there, and then so she, you know, it's just she needs a little bit sometimes to figure out, you know, those gaps, and that's what that's what we were doing. That was the staff was given the opportunity to find, you know, uh, some ways to give her an easy basket one, or, you know, once or twice, or if she misses that easy one, just telling her that's fine, don't worry about it, it's the next one. So, you know, she, uh, I don't think of it that way. You couldn't have told me what she has in the first half because I don't care, right? She's out there playing defense. She's doing great. I don't need her worrying about that kind of stuff because the ball's going to go in. That's, that's one thing I just you got. You can't such a delicate balance about scoring. I, you know, I, I don't. You don't even ask me. I wouldn't have known what she had. Anybody had in the first half because it's not about that. It's about going to the next play. It's about maybe she's creating for her teammate. She skipped it out and got a three for Kelly. So it's like you know, get into that rhythm. Let her do what she needs to do, and then we'll try to position it for her to get some easy buckets to get her back, but I don't ever want them to be worried about that. It's such a, I want to play defense, rebound, and then that part will be the gravy part. So very important. That's a very, very important thing, as you can tell by my tone, because, you know, the ball is going to, goes in sometimes, sometimes it doesn't go in, and, and we just got to keep playing through. Do you, do you, uh, you're in a final eight now. I mean, do you, I mean, what goes through your head as far as your chances? <coughs> and do you think, hey, maybe we can win this? Hold on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I don't. Think about that. I'm just. I think we're just having fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we're excited, and you know, we think it's cool, but we're just we're having fun and just playing. We're I think going, we're never. Yeah, uh, we're going like game by game. Like, yeah, I don't think we're ever worried. Like, oh my gosh, we're gonna play Virginia or whoever it is. We're just like, okay, this is the next play. This is the next team. You know, and it is what it is. You know, mm -hmm. so we're just having fun. Coach, the next team would be either Tulane or Florida Gulf Coast. It seems like. They have two, both teams have two big scorers, a lot of players that can shoot the three, mm -hmm. but hover around the low 30s. So it's kind of similar to a lot of the CAA teams where they have a lot of contributors in a lot of different ways. Just what, what's your outlook for the next game, whether it's Tulane or FGC? Yeah, FGC is like Drexel-like-ish, you know, a lot of guards, a lot of movement in their offense. Um, he's done a great job down there. I think they've had all their games at home too, right? I uh, haven't totally checked that, but I think they've had all their games at home. Tulane had to travel, or, um, traveling to them, right? So... Um, and then I've seen Tulane, Tulane uh, obviously, off and on all year long. Um, so, and, uh, uh, you know, they, they're a good mix. or They are very similar uh, to a CAA type, type team. So they have, you know, size. They t play team ball. And uh, so, uh, but Florida Gulf Coast definitely, uh, we're familiar with that style of play a lot, you know, and as well as with Tulane. But uh, it'll just be fun, whoever it is, wherever we got to do, where we got to go. Maybe we get a home game. So. <laughs> Put that out there. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.